Hi, and welcome back to the Red Panda Co. So, today we have a really fun unboxing. Um, I just got this in the mail yesterday. I already opened the box it was shipped in because I was a little impatient. Like, I wanted to record a video of me unboxing it and kind of doing a little bit of a review. Um, just because a lot of people have been asking, not a lot, but like a couple people have asked, um, on Instagram if I was gonna do a review on my channel for it and I was um, but that kind of motivated me even more to get a video up about it but it is the I don't know how you pronounce this it's the um, Attica Attica flex body smart doll flex body I got it in cinnamon I don't know if you can see that sticker <clears throat> I got this in cinnamon it's really heavy uh, that was one of the things that I saw when I was reading it on the website. It's pretty heavy. I also got, because for whatever reason, I don't read instructions. I don't read details. <laughs> so I also bought a bust, an extra bust, because for whatever reason, I didn't read and I didn't notice that this actually came with a bust. So I bought an extra cinnamon bust. Um, so I may or may not keep this. I'm not sure. Um, I'll, if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, I'll put the link down below and I'll put the link, um, my Instagram name on the screen. Um, I'm going to post it there or on Facebook if I don't end up keeping the cinnamon bust. Um, but I have it. Had I known that there was already going to be a cinnamon bust here, probably would have bought like a blue bust because I have a blue girl coming. So that would have been kind of nice because blue parts are really hard to get a hold of. Anyway, without further ado, let's open this up. I'm actually gonna open up the bust first while I'm still on the face cam. Maybe. Let's try not to damage the box, just in case I don't wanna keep it. Oh, too late. So I love her packaging, by the way. I think it's really cute. Like, look at the little, like it's got this cute little, um, this cute little illustration. I just think that's adorable. There's also a cute little illustration on this box because I did open up the box. Um, <clears throat> as a disclaimer, as I open this up, there will be doll nudity <laughs> in this video. A little bit more detailed nudity than in a regular smart doll. Um, <clears throat> that was one of the things that I was a little bit torn about getting this, this body because, <clears throat> because I don't necessarily agree with giving too much detail. I'm not going to judge you if you like to put detail like that, like private part details. I'm not going to judge you if you want to do that to your dolls. But for me personally, I don't really like it all that much. Um, so I was a little bit torn about getting this body because I didn't necessarily want too much detail. Um, but ultimately, the desire for that flexible part uh, kind of won out for me. So that's the reason I ended up getting it. And I also just wanted more content for my channel. Anyway, so that, that is your, that's your disclaimer. There is going to be a little bit of doll nudity. I'll try to cover her up a little, but it is what it is. Okay. Already I can tell these are like freaking huge. This is interesting. One of the things, wow. Okay. So here's the bust, the cinnamon bust. They're really big. <laughs> I actually only have all of my dolls have the default bust except for Sage, which is my Fortitude in T. Um, and these are much bigger. <laughs> um, it's This is going to be weird, but they're actually like squishy. They're not actually as squishy as I expected. Uh, but anyway, there is a little bit of powder on it. And so on the website, it just says to kind of just brush that off with like a brush or something. Um, it's just because it's made of silicone. Um, but anyway, there's the bust. It's really big. I am really curious to put this on uh, my doll. At the moment though, I don't actually, I don't actually have a doll to put this bust on. So, so we'll see. Um, I have uh, a body in every skin tone um, or will. Um, I'm paying off a blue girl. If you haven't been watching my videos prior to this, I've mentioned it a couple times. I am paying off a blue girl currently, um, but I have a, cinnamon, a tea, and a cocoa doll, which are in the back right there. 
Um, I have lots of heads, but I actually only have those three bodies and then I'll have the blue when I um, finish paying her off. Um, but so with this, with this flex body, it actually does only comes with the legs and the torso and then the bust. It doesn't actually come with arms or feet. And so at the moment, since I only have one cinnamon body, I'm going to have to seal her arms and her feet for this review. So eventually I'm going to try to get a hold of arms and feet from another body. Uh, so if you have that for whatever reason, if uh, just throwing that out there, if you've got like parts of a doll and you just so happen to have two arms and feet and maybe a couple of hands, just like default hands, let me know. Uh, again, my Instagram will be down below if you want to just message me. Um, Cause that would be, that would be awesome. Um, let's get this open. I'm just going to keep on the face cam because I think you'll be able to see it decently and I'll, um, throw up some pictures once I've opened this up and I put it together and stuff like that. I will throw in at the end, some pictures of the doll with like, you know, a bikini on that kind of shows you the flexibility and stuff like that. So anyway, this one kind of got put upside down because you could see the illustrations upside down but this is it I'm not even going to be able to get it in the thing here let's see so here we go I think like I said I think this is supposed to be like flipped upside down so the illustration is forward but it's really big I mean it's a smart doll you know um I also do believe that she has bodies for Dolphy Dream, maybe? I don't know. I'm only familiar with Smart Doll stuff. Well, let's get this out. Let's get her opened here. Comes with this, this little book. Like, I know that the images are a little bit more like, you know, like she's got her bits covered up and stuff, but I still think the illustrations are really cute. You gotta just have, you just gotta take this with uh, a little bit of maturity and understand they're gonna be naked and it's fine, it's a doll. Um, so here's like this little, this little packet. I think this is just kind of like, a, you know, how to take care of your flex body and stuff like that. Um, stains and talking about the metal joints and stuff like that. So um, that's actually kind of nice. So I'll like keep this somewhere so that I can use it for later. Uh, I know uh, when I was reading the website, it was saying that because silicone is a little bit different of a material, uh, there's a little bit more of an upkeep for, for this than for just like a regular vinyl doll. Um, so that makes me a little nervous because I'm not good at keeping up with stuff. I actually tend to take my dolls out places and not worry if they're going to get stained and stuff like that. So at the end of everything, if I ever have to sell my dolls, they probably won't have great value. <laughs> uh, but anyway, oh my gosh, it is heavy. That was another thing I read on the video or on the, um, the website is the, the body is a lot heavier than vinyl. So vinyl is really light because that's just the kind of material it is. And this has like metal, metal joints and stuff so this is her again she's gonna be naked don't worry um this is interesting so like if you look this is where the like legs would would go in it's a little like floppy right there which i find interesting that was one of the things when i saw people with the pictures and stuff is the legs looked a little bit the feet looked a little weird um but still like I think what I loved about it is this like seamless look, this more like realistic look. Oh, sorry. Let me just put the booty in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is really nice. Like this is, this is really big. Um, let me, let me pull the bust out here. I always record with like everything on my desk. So I usually have to like push stuff off to the side. So that's kind of what I'm doing. All right. As I'm getting this bust out, one of the things that uh, I also read on the website was that silicone stains a little bit easier than vinyl does. And we all know how easy vinyl will stain. However, what I did read was that the stains, unlike vinyl, um, the stains on a silicone doll will fade over time. So you don't have to stress about that. Um, okay, so it's kind of like a smart doll. 
Let me get my cinnamon smart doll and I'll kind of show you the difference between the two of these. All right, here's my little girl, Riley. She's a face up done by Dragon Fox Studios, who also did this shirt, by the way. I'm gonna put their link down below. Like, isn't that cute? Anyway, <laughs> she's my friend. She's my best friend. So um, let me take her apart and then I will kind of show you a little bit of a side by side of what they look like. I probably should have had this uh, prepared ahead of time, but you know, I'm not a planner. <laughs> um, I just try not to throw my uh, Smart Doll t-shirts in my tea. Anyway, for as expensive these clothes are, you would think I would take better care of them. I do take good care of them, but sometimes I do haphazardly throw them around. Anyway, um, with the bust on, so this is the default bust. This is just what comes with the doll um, when you buy them on the website. Um, it's just the little default. Um, if you don't know anything about smart dolls, they're ball jointed dolls um, and they come apart. <laughs> so you just kind of pop the arms off. So this is what I'm talking about. This, the uh, flex body is not going to have these arms and they're not going to have the feet. So the feet also do the same thing. Um, just kind of carefully pull them apart on the foot. Unlike the hands, the hands kind of just attach from this bottom peg. Unlike the hands, the foot will also, it will come with the ball joint as well. So this one, you kind of have to be a little bit careful about pulling apart. I've actually not done that with this doll yet. So <laughs> it's a little bit scary when you start pulling the doll apart, but as long as you're gentle about it, um, they'll, they'll be fine. So they just pop off. So we're going to set those aside and we're going to put those on the flex body here in a second, but I will show you the difference. So with the bust, it just kind of, it's supposed to pop right off. Um, there we go. This pops right off. So then you have the bust. Um, he, Danny himself on the Smart Doll website has different sized busts, um, but that's just the default one. I'll show you the difference between these two as well. This is the default. This is the Attica bust. That's, that's pretty significant. I know it will probably won't focus, um, but that'll, that gives you an idea. Oh, inside of a smart doll, you have the spine and these are the little shoulder joints. And this is where the arms go into right there. And so for this body, it is a very similar, a very similar concept. Um, so that's kind of the difference between the two of these. Um, like I said, this one's a lot heavier than this. This is like way, like this is like a feather compared to this one. Um, but the inner workings w look pretty similar. The only difference is that on the smart doll one, this is all plastic. Um, and on this one, on this, uh, flex bust, this is all metal. Um, so again, these are going to be the shoulder joints and this is the, this is the spine. And then the peg at the top, which is the same one as here, is where the head is going to go on top of. So we're going to set that body off to the side. And we're going to put this. So there is the flex body uh, bust on the body. That is really cool. So like, I know that you're not going to really be able to tell. I'm going to try to put lots of pictures of the body, um, just to show the detail. Um, but it's really, it's really interesting. Like, like it's squishy. It's very squishy. It's very interesting. It's, uh, besides the fact that it's kind of cold, <laughs> it feels very lifelike, which is really interesting. Um, not a bad thing. Okay. So let's try out some of the, uh, joint movement on this. Um, let me throw on her arms really quick. Oops. Let's throw on the arms and then we will get back to the flexibility of this body. Put on her feet. <laughs> I've already got cat hair all over it. Silicone is not is a little bit um, sticky. It's not sticky. It's hard to explain. It's like almost staticky. So I've got like cat hair on it anyway. Here's the full body with the arms and the feet on. Um, so the arms and the feet are the vinyl and then the rest of it is all the silicone. 
I mean, even look at the back. I don't know if you can tell, but there's little like dimples right above the butt. It's cute, cute little detail. Um, I actually think, yeah, the smart doll one also has it as well. Um, but like I said, it's not, I don't, if you've never touched a vinyl doll, it's not squishy at all. It doesn't give at all. Um, the bust does a little bit. It'll give a little, but if you look at the difference between that and like this, very squishy. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> I promise I don't do that all the time with my poor dolls. Don't, don't worry. Um, anyway, let's look at the, the posability of this thing. So like a smart doll, it can move back and forth because there is a working uh, spine on the inside. And so that's the same. We'll put the bust back on this one and I'll kind of show you what they kind of do the same. So you can, so the difference actually, what I'm already noticing is as you look at this one, so the top of the bust moves, right? But the, the torso doesn't move at all. And so on this one, what's kind of nice is the whole torso will move. Like it's not just the shoulders and the spine, it's also this inner, this torso right here, which is actually kind of cool. And then we've got the legs. So on a smart doll, obviously the arms move. The arms are gonna move the same on both dolls because they are the same. <laughs> uh, but for a smart doll, this is about as far as a smart doll will bend up um, to kind of give the illusion what I do, to give the illusion that they're not like sitting backwards is I'll move this up a little bit. So it kind of does remove that pretty like curve, but it kind of makes their stance look a little bit more straight. And then the uh, it moves at the knees. So this is kind of as far as a smart doll will go as far as like a sitting position. Um, it won't go any higher than that. And then up here, it kind of just moves right here. This is enough for me, but uh, I have been told, I've, I've not owned any other bull jointed doll except for smart dolls. And I have been told that there's been other dolls that have moved a little bit better. Um, but this is kind of as far as a smart doll will move. And then they just go back straight and that's pretty much it. That's kind of the extent, they don't move like side to side or anything like that. They just kind of move up like that. So let's test out the Autica, the uh, flex, the flex body. Um, so I'm like nervous to do this. So it moves, she moves that way. Um, I've been, let's see, let's move her up this way. Okay. I'm like a little bit scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she moves this way and we're gonna move her. The, okay, so one of the things I notice on this one is it's a lot harder to, to move around. Um, <laughs> it's harder to move the joints. Um, <laughs> but that probably has to do with the fact that that they are metal joints versus the plastic on the smart doll. So <laughs> I might not be the best because I'm probably going to have to mess with the mess with it a little bit before I know like exactly how this moves. Um, but it, she moves like this way, which is crazy. Okay. For a smart doll, I didn't test that out. Smart dolls will move, but this this is probably as far as they'll go, as far as like moving there. Um, and then of course they move up this way as well. They'll, they'll do a kneeling position along with coming up this way. Um, but as far as like the splits are concerned, that's pretty much as far as a smart doll will go. So for her, she can actually do a full split, I believe, which is kind of scary to do. Um, but that's, that's kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. I kind of think that I'm going to have to like mess with her a little bit and kind of get, 
like just a better idea of how she moves around a little bit, uh, how the body moves. So let's get her some clothes. Let's put a head on her and I'll show you kind of the full, the full look, uh, fully clothed. Okay. <laughs> so that was kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie. She's thick. <laughs> I mean that as respectfully as possible. Um, super, super gorgeous. But like, um, this little bikini, this is like the only bikini I have. Um, it's like kind of busting at the seams. <laughs> I got it from someone on Etsy. Um, I'm assuming that it was made um, for a regular smart doll body. Um, one of the things that I will point out for the this body compared to this one, obviously, first and foremost, the bust is bigger. And so you're going to just have to have a bigger top uh, for that. Um, but the bottom, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell. I know she's got a lot of hair. This is Izara, by the way. This is another face up done by Dragon Fox Studios. Um, I switched her out because uh, to me, Riley started with the default bust and so it doesn't really make sense why she would have such a big bust. So I kind of switched her out for little Izara. She's my little, my little shy girl. Um, I'll put the camera down and kind of show you um, the top view camera because my top view camera on my phone is a little bit better. Um, so I'll show you a top-down view here in just a minute. But for the full view, um, the the bust is obviously bigger. Um, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell. But in comparison to the regular doll, um, the hips and the butt and even just the width of the of the waist this way is a lot thicker than a regular smart doll. And so that's something to keep in mind when you're buying clothes for them is that that is, that that's a thing. Uh, the other thing that I noticed is the neck is really wobbly. <laughs> that's not necessarily a bad thing. It was just hard to get the head on. This is a chaos head. And so chaos heads typically will struggle. Um, the hole is not as consistent. The hole at the bottom of the head right here that goes on the peg can sometimes not be consistent because sometimes people have to cut those out themselves. And so that could have attributed to that um but that is something to keep in mind when you're trying to put the head on um it was a little wobbly and I kind of had to hold it to keep it to keep it straight um overall the clothes I know I'm mentioning a lot of negatives this doesn't necessarily mean that this body isn't as good as a regular smart doll body but um one of the things I will mention too is that the clothes were a little bit harder to put on on a smart doll body, the the finish on it is very smooth and it's very, it doesn't give at all. Um, so the clothes don't stick to it while you're putting it on. This was a little bit harder to put on because the skin is a lot more matte. It's a lot more, it catches a lot easier on the clothing. And so it was a little bit of a struggle to get, <laughs> to get her um, little bottom on. Um, and like I said, um, I don't think this has anything to do with the structure of the person that made this bikini on Etsy. Um, but I think it has everything to do with that she's just got really thick legs and a really thick butt. But it looks super cute. Like, she's really cute. Like, this body is adorable. I know I've said somewhat negative things, but um, it looks really cute. It looks, it looks and feels a lot more realistic. Um, She's got so much more detail on her belly. Um, let me let me move to the top down view and then I will kind of show you, you'll be able to see a little bit better some of the detail in like her tummy and her little, her little legs. Um, I just wanted to cover her up a little bit just so we're not sitting here staring at the poor naked body. <laughs> um, but let me, let me show you that and I think that you'll get a much better idea of what she actually looks like. All right, so here she is on, um, with a little bit better lighting and a bit of better camera. Uh, the front facing camera on my phone is a little bit, a little bit more clear. Um, she looks really scared. Don't worry. It's fine. You're okay. Um, so yeah, this is kind of it close up. Like there's a lot of detail in the collarbone section, um, the little tummy is probably my favorite part because it looks so realistic. It's got all these little like realistic lines and stuff like that. 
Um, I'm trying to hold on to my tripod or my ring light. I don't have like a really good place to put it. So I'm trying to fit her in here. Um, here's the little legs. She just looks very realistic. And like I said, it's very, she's very squishy. And she's very heavy. I will say that she's super heavy. So it's not as conducive to like traveling. I would say you probably still could travel with her, but, but it might be a little bit more difficult. Let's flip her on her back here. Um, this might not be the best bikini to use for an illustration. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see the little, the cute little back dimples, but yeah, I mean, she's, I mean, this is really well made. It looks very realistic compared to, um, regular Smartle. I think it's really cool. I just have to personally, let me flip her back over, fix her, fix her hair a little. There we go. Personally for me, I'm going to have to work a little bit on how to shape and, and like kind of move her around because it is a little bit scary because I'm afraid <laughs> it's so heavy and it's so, um, it's so hard to move around that I kind of just think I'm going to have to mess with it a little bit. But overall, I mean, she is super cute. I I love, I love it. It's, it's great. I'm really excited to see the possibilities of, um, being able to, you know, shape her around and stuff like that. Um, one of the benefits of having this flex body is there's not any joints. Um, I know you probably would have noticed that earlier. There's no joints in the hips and there's no joints at the knees. Um, there still is obviously the joints on the arms because you're taking the arms off of um, an already done smart doll. And there is still going to be the spot like right below her bust, which actually doesn't look bad. And of course, this right here is also going to still be visible unless you cover it up. But I mean, this looks pretty realistic once it's covered up. I mean, that's that's really cool. Um, so yeah, it's really, it's really beneficial. It's really heavy. That is one thing I'll say. It's heavy and it's, but it's very squishy. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> I am not the greatest at review videos, especially if I'm not really sure exactly how something works. But overall, I mean, this body is awesome. I'm really excited to kind of play around with it and figure out like how it moves and how it, how I can pose it a little bit differently because I do think that there's a lot more posable capabilities, even though I may not have expressed them as well <laughs> in this video. Um, I, like I said, I don't know too much about this body. I'm going to have to just kind of work with it and just see what kind of pictures we can get. So it is very cloudy outside today. And so I might take her out for some pictures sometime in the next few days if I can find a day that's not too cloudy. Um, but we'll see. Um, let me come back to my top so you can see my, let me get back to my face cam and we will talk about uh, just my final thoughts on it. All right, so like I mentioned, um, this is really cool. I really think that this is gonna be really awesome for pictures. Personally for me, I don't necessarily mind the joints, um, but what I really liked about this wasn't so much that there wasn't joints, but that there is um, just more flexibility. Um, I, pull her neck back over. I don't really think that her head is completely on. Um, like I said, this is a chaos head. And so it's possible that the hole might just not be quite big enough. So if I put like a default or a, if I put like a, uh, an actual head on, um, it might fit a little bit better. So like I said, this isn't really a good indication. I don't actually have any Danny Chu official cinnamon heads. All of my cinnamon heads are actually all chaos uh, heads. So might not be the greatest, but I'm sh pretty sure that the head fits just fine. It's just my chaos head. Um, 
and it might not be the thing is is another thing that she had mentioned on the website about these bodies is they're not going to be perfect um i have to sneeze <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> these bodies aren't going to be perfect there are going to be flaws and so um just keep that in mind i have noticed that there is like little dimples and stuff like that on her skin it's going to be hard to see on video but there is like little divots and dimples. There's like this line that goes down her leg. Um, but that is just something to keep in mind when you're getting these bodies. Um, this is 100%, by the way, my opinion on the body. Um, I'm not being paid to do this. I bought this for myself. I don't even think she's sending these out for like, you know, paid review or anything like that. But uh, I just want to say that this is just my unbiased opinion about the body. Um, I bought it for myself. It's just totally unbiased. Um, and so that, that is one thing to just keep in mind. Um, but yeah, it, this is really cool. I mean, she's really cute and, um, I really enjoy it. I really do. Um, what, like I said, the, the thing that I am like, don't like as much about it is the detail in the lower regions. I, I don't know if that's necessary. It might be though. In some pictures, you might want that look if you have some like tighter clothes or whatever. But uh, overall, I mean, just the difference between this and like, like this is so much more curvy, um, her pose, than I could ever get on a smart doll body. Although the smart doll body, you can get pretty curvy, right? Um, but that is one of the benefits of this is that you can just get something a little bit more natural. So, um, I, I, I a hundred percent think that this is worth the money. This doll is a little bit on the expensive side. Um, I think I bought the body and the bust together. They come together. Um, I think it was like over a little over $300 or something like that. Uh, that's U S I'm not sure what it is in any other, other country, but I do know that she is shipping to the U S now, which is the reason I snagged one. Um, and it comes packaged super cutely. I love it. And, um, yeah, I'm really bad at review videos. I don't even plan this ahead of time. <laughs> so I just kind of, I just go in with it and I don't have any sort of like, uh, anything planned out to say. I just kind of say stuff. So I'm sorry if it's this is all over the place. Um, but there you go. There's my little review. Um, she has this in, I believe she has this in cinnamon skin tone and milk and in tea skin tone. So I don't think that there's a cocoa one that might have been a too hard of a skin tone to copy. Um, as far as color matching goes, it matches really well. Um, like it matches the the head and the arms and of course the feet are all smart doll official stuff. And so it matches really well. I didn't anticipate it wouldn't match, but that is something to note. It matches super well. Um, yeah, I really like it. And you can't really tell, like you can kind of tell um, just by looking really closely that the arms are vinyl and they're a little bit more shiny. This, uh, this is a little bit more matte. And so that's something to keep in mind as well, but it's not anything too noticeable. But anyway, um, that's overall kind of what I feel about this flex body. I think it'll be really cool to take pictures of. I will go outside sometime in the next few days. Hopefully it will stop raining long enough for me to be able to take her outside and get some pictures of her and see kind of what uh, her capability is of moving around and stuff like that. Um, and we'll see. So I might have a little slideshow of photos of a photo shoot of her because I think that would be really fun to kind of test that out. Anyway, I hope you enjoy watching. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know if you want any sort of other review videos. Um, not anytime soon, but I would like to potentially review some other dolls. Um, I don't have a whole lot of money at the moment, but if you have any dolls to recommend to compare to smart dolls, let me know. Um, I would love to do that. If there's any other sort of reviews you'd like me to do, let me know. Um, I really appreciate you watching. I hope this was helpful. At this point, I don't know if the bodies are going to be for sale. Um, so I'll link down below the, the link to these bodies if they're still there. Um, I don't know. She did say that she has a decent amount. However, she did also mention that she's not going to restock them once they go out of stock. So if you want one and they're still there, I highly recommend grabbing it because 
it is definitely worth it. It's different. Just keep that in mind. It is much different than an actual smart doll body, but it's definitely worth it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Bye.